Good morning, yes! Welcome to a conversation with your Judy on Duty, Lonnie B. We are back again. Fuck, I know y'all like, Lonnie, we've been looking for you. When do you come on, bitch? It ain't no schedule, okay? I'm like a baby daddy, bitch. I just pop up. All right, seriously. All you gotta do is subscribe to all my shit, bitch, and when you get the notification, listen in or look in. Fuck, whichever one it is, bitch, okay? Mm, I got so many mics. Hold on, y'all. Let me get myself together. It's a whole bunch going on right now, bitch, okay? Yeah. Okay, I got so many mics hooked up to me, bitch, okay? I feel like I'm snitching. Bitch, for real. I feel like an informer. Yeah. But anyway, welcome to a conversation with your Judy on Duty, Lonnie B. And I am so excited that y'all are here with me today. Now listen, and if you're listening by the way of radio, okay, or in your car, your iPad, okay, or your iPod, bitch, okay, whatever Apple device you have, bitch, or if you got a Galaxy, bitch, okay, or a Walkman, whichever you listening to, okay, or you looking at me on YouTube, okay, make sure you subscribe and keep up with your Judy on Duty so you can know when a bitch pop through, bitch, okay, like a bitch you ain't seen in years and now they pregnant. Fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't know who the daddy is. It was one of those nights, girl. It was one of those nights. Yes. Now let's get into some celebrity news. Now I don't know why the fuck they got me doing this part. Because I don't be knowing what the fuck is going on, y'all. I'm being honest with you. I mind my motherfucking business. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be knowing what the fuck is going on. So I guess we just going off a headline. Bitch, okay, because we go into details and shit, you probably got to go look at Channel 5. Bitch, yeah, seriously, or go on one of those blogs. Because your Judy on Duty, I don't even know what the fuck is going on, but they just stay sending me shit. They stay sending me shit so I can report the news. How the fuck am I going to report the news and I don't know the fucking news? Okay, let's keep going. Mm-hmm. So anyway, yeah, Kanye West. Okay, let's start there. Y'all like Kanye? I like Kanye. I like Kanye. Kanye is very cool. I like Kanye. Kanye West, he refused to apologize for using construction bags. Bitch, okay? When he was selling his clothes. Okay, now I don't understand what the fuck the problem is. Maybe he ran out of bags. I don't understand what the fuck the problem is. Bitch, okay? Bitch, it's clothes, bitch, okay? Seriously. When I get mines away, bitch, okay, for free, bitch, okay, yeah, I put them in construction bags. What's the problem? Yeah, and you know his shit probably be expensive. You know he wear that Balenciaga. That shit be $600 a sweatshirt. Give me that shit, okay? And I do got a question. When was he selling this shit? And where the fuck was I at? Bitch, yeah, okay? Seriously, why is this news? I'm confused in the motherfucker. At least he put it in the bag. At least he ain't say here. And just get that shit to you in your hand. I don't understand. And you know Kanye is different. He do shit his way, okay? And if you a fan, you accept the way he do shit. I don't understand why this news. Moving on, NeNe Leaks. Hey, NeNe, y'all know that's my girl. I love NeNe Leaks. Hey, NeNe, okay? She got a BBL. Mm. Why the fuck is this news? That's her business. All right, some people don't feel like jogging or walking up a hill, bitch, or going to the gym. Some people just want to lay on the table and get carved like a turkey. Why the fuck is this news? Okay, I told y'all. I, I don't know y'all. I'm sorry y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Bitch, okay? I'm just not the bitch for this shit. That's all I'm saying, okay? But they say, go ahead, Lonnie. You know, keep it. Keep it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay, well, bitch, I'm doing it my way. Now, Nene did make a comment. She said, let's keep it classy, not trashy. Well, bitch. Hey, Nene, I love you. I guess I'm a trashy motherfucker. Because my stomach gets so big, it's under the table. Bitch, okay, and I think I'm growing titties. I keep eating. Fuck, okay, I guess I'm a trashy bitch. Yeah, mm-hmm. I ain't judging nobody. That's her comment. That's how she feel. I'm happy. Fuck, okay, seriously. Bitch, you keep on eating your celery and curds, bitch, okay? Where is the mashed potatoes, okay? Yeah, smother with gravy, salt and pepper. Put a little Caesar salt on it too, bitch, okay, and bring out the pork chops. I guess I'm trashy to the motherfucker. Yeah, okay, moving on. LeBron James. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, he agrees to a two-year, $97.1 million contract, okay, with the Los Angeles Lakers. Bitch, can I have a dollar? That's all I need, LeBron. You wealthy motherfucker. Can I have a dollar? Okay, I just want to get me a kosher deal pickle. Bitch, yeah, can I have a dollar? Damn, that's a rich motherfucker. Bitch, they giving out contracts like that? Shit. Fuck, I'm in the wrong line because I'm down here in the welfare line. 
I guess I'm in the wrong motherfucking line waiting for food steps. I need a LeBron contract. All right, moving on. Mm-hmm. ASAP Rocky. Mm-hmm. Okay, hey, ASAP. Yeah, we like ASAP Rocky. Okay, ASAP Rocky, he pleads not guilty. Okay, I didn't even know he was in the court system. What the fuck? Okay, this just took me off guard. I thought it was about to be about him having a baby shower. I didn't even know he was in the court system. Okay, ASAP Rocky. Bitch, okay, he pleads not guilty. Okay? From a shooting incident. I didn't even know he don't look like that type. He look like he paint. Bitch, okay? Mm-hmm. And not the way you thinking. You bought him. Yeah, but he look like he paint. Bitch, okay? Just nice paintings in his room. Bitch, a Superman and Batman and shit. That's how he look. Free him. Okay, he got a baby shower to go to. A ginger reveal or something. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, we're going to send our prayers, okay, to ASAP Rocky. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, now listen. I don't know if y'all know, bitch, okay? But I know BBLs was a popular thing. But they just sent this to me. I ain't even know people was doing this shit. And it's becoming more popular than BBLs, bitch. Yeah, penis enlargement. Bitch, they out here blowing up penises like balloons. Yeah, bitch, yeah. Mm -hmm. They say it's more popular than BBLs. Yeah, niggas are going to the doctor pulling their shit out saying blow me. And they not talking about a blow job. They talking about blow me up. Fuck, I ain't know that. This some new shit to me. Mm -hmm. So all you Asians out there, yeah, okay? You got some good metal insurance, bitch, okay? Yeah, you can go get you a blow up. Yeah, mm -hmm. but we gonna move on to that because that's some freaky shit. So an owner of a beauty concept, okay? Yeah, they suing Kim Kardashian for her skin, okay, trademark. Again, okay? I think she just got an account, bitch, okay, set aside for bitches that wanna sue her. Okay, there ain't nothing to Kim. That bitch is wealthy. She fuck around say here. Okay, go on, lady. Here, here. Yeah, she fuck around say here. Here's your cut. Go on, lady. Yeah, and put up another post on Instagram. Don't fuck with her. Mm-hmm. Okay, so kid cut. Y'all know who that is? I'm just learning about him. Kid Cudi, he addresses the end of his friendship with Kanye West. I'm sure he ain't the only one. All right, but we like Kanye over here. Mm-hmm. He says, I'm at peace in my life. Yeah, where well, I have zero tolerance for the wrong type of energy. Yeah, bitch. All right. Oh, let me re, re let me reread that. I think I fucked that up. Yeah, I did fuck that up. He said, I'm at a place in my life where I have zero tolerance for the wrong energy. I can relate. Yeah, bitch, okay? Because you got to protect your energy out here. I can relate. Now, I don't know his relationship between him and Kanye, and I ain't interested. Okay, I'm being honest because it ain't none of my motherfucking business. All right? But if he's at a place in his life, okay, where he ain't accepting no bullshit, and if whoever the other person is is the bullshit and he ain't want to accept it, I don't see nothing wrong with him. Go ahead, Kid Cuddy. Because Kid Cuddy will cut you off. Yeah, so go ahead, Cuddy. I understand that. I understand where the fuck you coming from because that's where I'm at in my life. Bitch, don't come over here. You got drama. That's where I'm at in my life. Bitch, get the fuck away from me. You want to gossip? That's where the fuck I'm at in my life. So I understand where you coming from, Kid. Cut you off, Cuddy. I understand. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. I don't know if y'all know, but this is new to me, so it might be old to some of y'all, because y'all be in the blogs and the news and shit, and I don't watch none of that shit. I just watch the ID channel and cartoons. So here we go. A Wendy's worker, okay, punched an elderly customer for complaining about the order. Punched the motherfucking customer so hard, the customer fell and hit a head, okay? The customer hit the head and then later on died. Yeah. They done locked this man up on murder charges. Yep. They, they done lock, why did he hit that man? They say the customer didn't put his hands on the window, the Wendy worker. Yeah. Now where the fuck was the manager? Where was Dave? Okay. The, the customer didn't even put his hands on the Wendy worker. Wendy worker came from around the counter because the customer was complaining about the order. Hit this customer. The customer fell. Hit Hit his head or hit his her, her head. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. But you know, or it's a man. The man was 67 years old. Yeah, hit his head. Bitch, yeah. Mm hmm And later on died. The world that we live in, we got to do better. We got to do better. 
we got to do better. The world that we live prayers to that man's family. Okay? This happened in Arizona. Prayers to that man's family. Pray for the both of them. Pray that he get anger management while he in jail. You know. And you know. And surrender to the Lord and ask for forgiveness. You know, I feel a certain type of way when you harm elders. I must admit, I do feel a certain type of way when you harm elders. Like, that touches me. You know, in a certain type of way, bitch, okay? To make me uncomfortable. You know? So, yeah. Let's just pray. All parties involved. Because that's just so unfortunate. Yeah. So let's get into what we came here for when it comes to a conversation with Alani B because we like to talk about the real life situations. Something that we are lacking, okay? Real life situations because people are so caught up into this reality world. Yeah, this Instagram shit, this Facebook shit, this YouTube shit. Yeah, people are thinking that the shit that they put on Instagram and Facebook, bitch, okay, is their way of life based off of the way you view them. So the viewers... Okay? Control the people. So people are transforming into things that they're really not just to please the viewers. I love y'all to death, but I don't give a fuck what you think about me. I I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. It's probably somebody watching me right now or listening to me right now on the way of the airwaves, bitch, and just calling me about 66 sissies. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I don't care. Okay, hey, okay, two snaps up and a twist and a kiss, all that good shit, bitch, I don't give a fuck, I'm here to tell you, he cuss too much, I don't give a fuck, yeah, I don't, you know what I'm saying, because I'm in tune with who I am, and that's what we losing the reality check of. Bitch, okay, being in tune of who I am because people have become accustomed of revamping themselves to other people's expectations. And you're creating a false narrative. And then you lose who you are and it's hard for you to connect with your roots. So you start to fall for anything and follow any trend. And we need to stand up as a people and stay committed to the important things in our life. Family. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are so, you know, quick for the fame and the fortune that they will sell their family out, okay? For reality TV. Yeah. Yeah. Because they care what the viewers think. They do. We gotta stay connected. You know? And you also have to understand, you guys, everything that we go through ain't here by business. Which means everything is not meant for social media. You got to have that balance in your life where certain things are made for the house and certain things are made for outside. You got to have that balance. Because when you start to investing everybody into your business because people love to invest themselves into your business because they don't want you to pay attention or know anything about their business. So when you start to inviting everybody to be so invested in your business, it becomes a problem. We are not really in tune with the real reality of Kids don't have conversations at the dinner table with their parents no more. Parents don't ask kids when they come home from school, baby, how was your day? Nowadays, kids just come home from school, bitch, and they don't got no homework, but they upstairs all motherfucking day, bitch, with their face in their phone. We got to be in tune with the real reality of the world. All this other shit is an accessory. It's entertainment. It's okay to take a break from things just to get in tune with you. It's okay to take long walks in the park without music in your ears. It's okay to sit on the front porch and meditate. It's okay 
to read a book and not get on YouTube. It's okay to do real life things. That's helpful for your existence. We got to, we got to do better. We got, and it starts with us. I'm not looking for you to make me better. I'm looking to make myself better. That's why I can't judge you for what you do. All that belongs to you. Your problems and situations. Bitch, I got enough over here of my own. That's why I really can't comment on this shit we was just talking about. Because certain things and certain people's behavior comes from triggers. And we don't always know what triggered them to do what it is that they do. But they know their triggers. So they gotta dodge those bullets. That's why it's not good to be so invested into other people's business. But it's so important for you to handle yours. I love y'all for listening and I love y'all for watching. Your Judy on Duty, Lonnie B. This has been a conversation with Lonnie B. My podcast. Yes, okay. I would tell you when I'm coming back again, but bitch, I don't know. Yeah, okay. But all I could tell you is subscribe, okay, to my YouTube channel, Check With Lonnie. Follow me on all music outlets where you listen to podcasts at. You know, follow me on Instagram at I am Lonnie B, Facebook at Lonnie B. Follow me on TikTok at I am Lonnie B. Just keep up with your Judy and go to my website at www.lonniebeyourjudy.com. Keep up with me, all right? As I keep coming to you real raw and uncut, bitch. Yes, I ain't say that in a long time, bitch. I used to say that, bitch, in the early 2000s. Yes, okay? I ain't changed, bitch. I ain't changed. Just grew up a little. Okay? See y'all next time. Thanks for listening. <laughs>